Today we're going to be talking about autoimmune issues. We're going to be talking about explants for women. We're going to be talking about alopecia, hair loss, and all things related to that. This is going to be a very powerful live. We have Claire Crawley coming on, who is bachelorette number 16, coming on later on in the uh, in the podcast. Uh, today is the 26th, and, and the 26th is step two, Scorpio. Today is your feelings are in action. And with those feelings in action, you may even trigger a little bit of anger and frustration today. Um, so let's see how everybody's doing. Put in where you're from in the comments, uh, Grand Rising. <clears throat> so everybody, uh, put in where you're from and give us a bunch of likes down there. Hit the like button. Boom, 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 boom. Hit the like button and give us a bunch of likes. I'm heading uh, last two days. I'm healing last two days. Flu-like symptoms, having trouble sleeping. Any suggestions when you go to sleep? Um, <clears throat> the stress reset before you go to sleep, the organ reset, and of course you can take a bath with Itomation Earth, uh, Epsom salts, and uh, that will help you. Um, thank you, Ruby Jean. Uh, oh, you're feeling it today? Yeah, yeah, today, today's a day where anger could be getting up there. Is anybody feeling that? Put it out, if you're feeling anger, frustration, or old patterns showing up. And today's the day you're going to feel it. You're going to feel the difference between where you want to be and where you used to be. Australia, 29 palms still. <laughs> Meaning that you came there and you haven't left or you live there. Um, oh, yeah. Here's a good question. When you're doing reset, should we be doing regular workouts? I wouldn't. I mean, it's not going to hurt. Eh, look, at, you're not going to damage yourself. The resets are going to help you. But the workouts are are escalating stress for your body to calm down. The resets are taking the stress out so your body can use that workout energy to heal. I would be doing more body movement, more movement in nature. I would be doing more of those type of movements throughout the day rather than a weighted workout where your body has to has to has to spend a lot of energy healing the muscle tissue. Um, I would do that. It, you'll have a better reset. In if your goal, goal in the reset is to change something in your body, if there's a problem, if there's a pain or a dysfunction, then that would work. That would be the best that I can recommend. Great educational experience with you and your team at Joshua Tree. Thank you so much. Old patterns definitely surfacing. Okay. Sagittarius, I'm drained and frustrated. Body is healing. This is hard. <clears throat> Jonathan, I, I, I feel it actually, but I, I would have felt a year ago frustrated and angry. Today, I just feel a little bit low, like I need more energy or like I want to sleep. So I'm, I'm looking for, for something to stimulate me today. And <clears throat> that's what I've been feeling today. I stopped working out when I did the 28 days so I can focus. Yeah, thanks Ruby Jane for putting it in there. Loads of anger and frustration, feelings, thought, uh, I thought it was menopause. Well, yes, I mean, there are some situations that go along with that, but today the energy is just that way. <clears throat> My boy boyfriend lost his voice on zero degrees. Whoa, that would mean something about either not speaking, learning for him to not speak his boundaries. Would that make sense for you, uh, Triangle Dust? He's having to learn how to speak about his boundaries. <clears throat> the Epsom salts and diatomaceous earth, generally a quarter cup of each. And I also put a quarter cup of borax in there. <clears throat> you know, there's a, there's, a, there's a really important message is that people put stuff on their skin that they wouldn't eat, especially if you're dealing with an autoimmune issue. If you wouldn't consume it in your mouth, don't put it on your skin. This is super important. Should we start fundamental package before doing a cleanse? Uh, if gut is in poor health, uh, I'll absorb the nutrients of the supplements. Yeah, because uh, the um, the power kirk is is a, is actually a medication. The third curcuminoid. What we do is we extract it out and, and apply that, which normally at nature is at at one percent at highest, point point one to one percent. And we give you thirty percent of that. So even even if you weren't absorbing, what that does is takes down the stress which allows your body to process and absorb more. So it's, it's a catch 22, but you've got it. The, uh, the supplements, also the minerals, you're going to absorb the minerals anyways. That's what the minerals are doing. The diatomaceous earth is, is an exfoliant. It's cleaning out the small intestine and the diatomes are actually encapsulating the heavy metals and you're peeing them out. 
Hey Scott, how you doing? Just finished three days of heavy detox, fever, body aches, a mucus, a few days after completing the one day, three day uh, related. Uh, yeah, you know, Eclipse Energy, there's a lot of stuff going on. So you can't, uh, you can't uh, rule out any of them, but if you had done the one day and the three day reset and you had the Eclipse Energy, and especially if you are like a water sign or something like that, you're gonna have, or a water sign in your in your moon, you're gonna have a lot of detox symptoms, and it's a little bit of both. I mean, a lot of people had symptoms after the eclipse. You can you can just see it. I mean, when the eclipse happens or a full moon happens, our chats and our our DMs go crazy. Is there a better brand of DE, and why is there a cancer warning uh, label about silica? Uh, um, labels are funny. Um, you have to put labels on what the government says, but the government is also um, controlling the curriculum. And if you go and you're a naturopathic doctor or nutritionist and you go learn about your elements, um, you'll, you'll have pages of paragraphs and even paragraphs and chapters on things like calphos and selenium. But when it comes to silica, which is the most important element, there's like a paragraph, which is without silica, nothing else works. Um, the cancer warning label, I think the one you're talking about is because of the breathing, um, but um, you'd have to send me that. You can actually just go and, and Google 31 um, uh, evidence-based facts about diatomaceous earth and, and, and look at that. Or you can DM us and we can give it to you. There's lots of, lots of science, tons and tons of science. The brand that we use is diatomaceousearth.com, but... <clears throat> Most of the brands are good, um, and you know, there's a there's been this whole rumor mill about heavy metals in in diatomaceous earth. Think about it logically. Diatomaceous earth has diatoms in it, which are taking the heavy metals out. So even if there were heavy metals in the diatomaceous earth, the diatoms would be helping your body process it immediately. There would have to be a very extensive high amount of heavy metals in there to make a difference. And if you're buying our products, <clears throat> they're tested. So we, one of the things you can never really be sure of unless somebody is testing. So we test all of our products and we test them for heavy metals and we get a, we get a certification be, uh, with each batch. Uh, hip bursitis, uh, Sereno, uh, Mozafari. Super, super simple. Uh, go to uh, our website and go to the lower reset and the barefoot sp uh, sprinter routine. Those two are for our hip bursitis and everything around the hip. And I would also add pullover and swinger from our 10 series. Pullover and swinger plus lower reset and barefoot sprinter routine. Barefoot sprinter routine and lower reset are on our website. Hey, Zoray, how you doing? Can you moderate? Thank you so much. <clears throat> Are the cold showers good for us? Yes, absolutely. I, I strongly believe in contrast in every aspect of the human existence. Uh, body healing really well. That's cool. That's awesome. Been adding Irish sea moss to my H2O smells exactly like Chesapeake Bay. <laughs> yeah, you know what's funny? Because we were down here and when the water, Sargassa gets a little bit nasty, everybody goes, whoa, the, the, there's so much smell. And I was actually starting to feel that myself. Then I go back up to Canada and uh, my son Jordan, he goes, we just go to the water and the water's always got that, that, that oceany smell because we're in the Northwest and there's lots of foliage and lots of seaweed around and stuff like that. And, uh, and I go, whoa, it kind of smells like Sargassa or my son Jordan goes, or just like the Pacific Northwest Ocean all the time. <laughs> hey, Jake Peanut, feeling so depressed? Jake Peanut, if you're feeling depressed, why don't you do this with me, okay? So if you're feeling depressed, let's open up our, get up off your couch, Jake Peter, or off your bed. Okay, so let's open up the small intestine first of all, okay? We're gonna do this a little bit different. We're gonna do like a bladder release here. So instead of the, just pulling the bladder, right, the bladder, we're gonna pull on both sides of the, of the pubic bone, we're gonna pull up. So I'm pulling the small intestine up, okay? Stretching it up and out this way, this way. Okay, stepping forward my right foot, Lean back, stretch it, and breathe.
Left foot forward, pulling back and breathe. Okay, that's the first one. Okay, Jake Peanut, here to help you out today. Okay. Whew. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the belly button torque, okay? We're going to open this up because depression, we don't have emotions in our brain, but what our brain's connected to directly is our small intestine. So when this is depressed, we feel depression. Okay, so take your right hand, put it into the belly button this way. So you see how I'm pushing it in this way? Okay, now turn it thumbs up like this. Take your left hand behind you and turn the skin this way which is counterclockwise, okay? Bend over and breathe. We go back and forth. Slowly. This way. Okay, awesome. Okay, starting to feel it here. Let's do some elbow torques for you. Uh, Jake Peanut, right elbow up like this. Take the hand, left hand, put it on the elbow, put it above you. This is to open up the heart meridian, open up the lungs, which help with depression. Lean over against it to the left side. Turn your head to the right. Breathe in three times. Squeeze your belly button, squeeze your sex organ. Take your right foot, put it behind you, and over further. Okay, come on up, move around a little bit. Okay, actually that's waking me up. Oof. Ethos PT, you guys want a good physio to follow? Follow Ethos PT. Um, Ethos.pt. Out of Calgary, awesome physical therapy. I love her protocols, probably the best that I've seen so far. Adding everything in it and asking you all the questions that a physio should ask. Go follow her. Okay, so I got my left elbow, I got my torque over, leaning over to my right. Breathe in. I'm gonna take my left foot, step behind. Through the nose. Okay, Jake Peanut, Peanut. <clears throat> Don't want you, whoa, I'm starting to feel it. Ooh, I'm getting a little bit of a rush here. Okay. <clears throat> Holy smokes, there's a lot of comments since then. What we're gonna do is we're gonna light up our entire fascia. We're gonna do an entire fascial release. And this is like called a fascial coffee. It's a wake up. It stimulates all of the serotonin, dopamine, oxytocin in the body. The body loves to be touched. And here's one of the ways you can touch yourself. Yeah, not that way, but here's one of the ways. Take your, your hand, put it like this. Take your, this is my left arm, my right hand. I'm gonna go down here and up here. So let's do that three times. Down the inside, down the inside, up on the outside, down the inside, up on the outside. Okay, good. Now take that same hand, go from the pinky all the way down. Okay, good. Now let's do the other side. Down the inside of the arm, out to the outside, down the inside, up the outside, down, up, and then go down three times. Okay, we're gonna go up the chest and over the shoulder three times each way. Take the right hand, put it on the right hip, go over to the left hip, up, over, and down. So this way, right to left, over and down. So it's counterclockwise on the stomach. This is because digestion goes the other way, so this is giving your body relief in the other direction. Okay, that's awesome, feeling good. Okay, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit today on the back, two, on the neck. Okay, good. Now we're going to go to the thighs. We're going to go down the thighs and all the way to the toes and up the inside right to the pubic bone. 
down, up, down, up. Now we're gonna go from the little toe all the way up the IT bands, all the way up the rib cage, all the way up the side. Awesome, now we're gonna go up the Achilles heel, all the way up the back and the hamstrings up the back. Okay, good. Now, we're gonna go on to the head. Back. From the nose and the cheeks outward. The jaw with two fingers down. The neck each side. On the shoulders, brush off your shoulders. Okay, now feel your body. Put in the comments how you feel. Jake Peanut, how you feeling there? <clears throat> what time does this start? Okay, the live start at, well, um, they start at eight o'clock Pacific time. And by the way, in 30 minutes, we're gonna be turning off and we're turning on. We have bachelorette number 16, Claire Crawley coming on, talking about her explants, her autoimmune conditions. So she was 10 years on the bachelorette, on the bachelor, and she was the bachelorette for season 16. Feel better, right, Jake Peanut? Okay, that's awesome. Okay, why don't we do one more to get everybody, let's do the organ reset. Let's get everybody on the same page here. Okay, so take your, your hands, rub them together. What you're doing is you're creating static electricity energy, basically you're opening up the fascia. You know, like if you do your feet and go touch somebody, creating electricity. So let's do it on our knuckles, <clears throat> little knuckles. Let's do it on our fingernails. Okay, I like to hold my hands together. I like to feel the energy. It kind of feels like a, when you put two magnets together, you kind of feel it pushing apart. You may or may not feel it. That's okay if you don't, but I, I do. I'm just gonna pass it to you. Okay, take your right hand, put it on your belly button. Go two inches to the right and two inches down. Put your hand in there. Now you can just touch if you, if that's all you can do. And you can just laying down, sitting down, standing up. But I'm gonna push my hand in a little bit and I'm gonna turn the thumbs up. So I turn the skin for a little extra. Not required, but works really well. Left hand on my trap. And if you have problems, you can go like this too. Okay, now let's breathe in three times through the mouth and three times through the nose together. So three, two, one, breathe in. Two. Three. Through the nose. Two. Three. Okay, now let's take that right hand, go all the way up to the rib cage, right where it turns here. That's your liver, your gallbladder. I want you to either put your hand there or push in if you can and go thumbs up. Okay, let's breathe in through the mouth again. Two, three, through the nose, two, three. Okay. Let your hands rest for a second. Now we're gonna go all the way to the other side, which is the stomach. So we're gonna go to the center bone here, go to the left down here a little bit. That's the left side. And right where the ribs curve right there, you grab the skin there and pull it towards the center of the body. So literally just grab it and pull it. Okay, breathe in through your mouth. Two, three, to the nose. Two, three. Okay. Let's see here. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna go to the left hip here. So going down from there to the left hip, right on top of the left hip. Pull in there, pull it towards the center of your body. Take your left hand. Oh, got a tenderness there. Oh, that's kind of different. That's something moving into me. Whoa, I didn't expect that. Okay, so pulling it towards the belly button, left hand behind or like this, either one. Breathe in. Two, three, through the nose. Two, three. Okay, good. Awesome. <clears throat> Okay, now what we're gonna do, 
is we're going to go to the pubic bone, and this is for the bladder. So on the pubic bone, you can push right into the skin. And some people like to go on and like this and push harder, and then pull the skin up. So I'm pulling it up so I feel, feel the pull and the stretching there. And I push my hips back and squeeze my butt cheeks. Okay, it pushes the bladder into the hand. Now breathe in. Two. Three. Through the nose. Two. Three. Okay, now that one's really good if you've got tailbone pain too. That one's for clearing fear. And uh, if you have fear or worry or anxiety, that works really, really well. Okay, so let's take the right hand. Let's go in the rib cage on the right, right side, okay? What I'm doing is I'm squeezing a bit and pulling the skin down. So I'm pulling it this way. Take the left hand if you can. Again, you can still do it by just doing it over here. All the way over here. Lean over to your left. Turn your head to the right and do three sharp breaths to the mouth. Go. Okay, now that you've activated the kidney and there's sent breath there, now we're going to do a six breaths. Breathe into your mouth. Two. Three. Through the nose. Two. Three. <clears throat> Can I move around that one there? That one there, like every time I do that, I feel like my right side of my body is looser than my left side. It makes a big difference for me. See if it does for you. Take your right hand, put it on your left side, squeeze and pull down. Take your right hand, left hand or left side, sorry. Take your right hand, put it all the way over here. Pulling down, leaning all the way over to the right, turn your head to the left, three sharp breaths. <laughs> now six breaths. Two, three, through the nose, two, three. Awesome. Now take your left hand, put your thumb right at your spine and your hand right along the, the rib cage here. And like you're squeezing the, the midsection of your body. Okay. And what I want you to do is put your chin at your your uh, your chest and lean over on your right foot slightly and you'll feel the thumb activate usually that's what we're looking for is an activation of the thumb and we're going to breathe in two three through the nose two three <clears throat> okay cool that one really clears my brain. I mean, like, super clears my brain. <clears throat> okay. Got a couple left. One for the thyroid. Super powerful for the thyroid. Throat conditions, vocal cords. And you're going to take your hand on both sides. You lightly grab the skin. You're not pinching, but lightly grabbing it and pulling it up. Almost like a choking motion. So I feel it actually pulling in through here and here. I actually feel it. So then I take my left hand, put it behind, and then you're gonna breathe six times. So breathe in. Two. Three. Through the nose. Two. Three. Whoa. Getting a little dizzy doing that. Okay. So now we want to connect our brain with our heart. Take your right hand, put it on your human garage logo, your heart. <laughs> Ever notice that this, by the way, people were where the logo come from. If you look at, at a maneuver and you put the, and you map the lines, that's what it is. It's the lines of somebody doing a fascial maneuver. Right hand here. Take a look at our fascial maneuvers guide on our website. Go check it out if you haven't got it. And left hand on the head. Breathe in. Two, three, through the nose, two, three. <clears throat> okay, how are you guys all feeling here after that? You guys feeling good after that?
30 minutes. <clears throat> How's that feel? Put in the comments. Let me know how you're feeling. Yes, the live will be saved. And just again, reminder, we have bachelorette number 16, Claire Crawley coming on, talk about breast explants, alopecia, autoimmune, eczema, rashes, the general things that happen from the lifestyle that we're all taught that we should be living in. She's here to, to, uh, to set the record straight and, and help with a health platform. She wants to help women who are going through the same thing. Um, and uh, so we'll be actually turning the live off and then turning it back on so we have a fresh cut. <clears throat> Calm, that's good. Feeling pretty good. The bra strap got relieved, yes. Amazing, amazing, awesome. Wake up, woke it up. <clears throat> Definitely felt dizzy. Yeah, I felt dizzy that time too. Uh, love the extra maneuver today. Yes. Can we open the chest too? Sure we can. Happy camper. Let's do two for the chest opening, guys. Uh, I feel great. The organ reset every night before bed. Okay, so here's my xiphoid bone. This is going to help open up the diaphragm, which opens up the heart, opens up the chest, okay? So when this is, when the, when the diaphragm gets tight around here, it pulls this way, closing off the chest, closing off the heart, closing off the ability for the lungs to work. So we're going to go right underneath the xiphoid bone. My bone is right there. I'm going to go a couple inches down. I'm going to get under there, deep like this, and then I'm going to pull my hands apart as hard as I can, pulling them apart, like I'm pulling my ribcage apart and pushing forward, and breathe. And I'm going to go side to side. Okay, the first thing is take a deep breath. Oh, geez, I actually needed that. I've been having these changes. Whoa, man, that made me feel all loosey-goosey in my back. I should have been doing that earlier. And then we'll do the human garage heart opener. So here's my center bone. I'm gonna go up about halfway between here and there. I'm gonna pull the, the fascia apart right here. Find out where it's tightest, it's tightest right here. Pulling it apart and pushing my chest up. See what I'm doing with my neck? Stretching up. I'm going to go up a little bit higher and do it again too. Pulling apart. Okay. Whoa. How does that feel, guys? Whoa, I feel alive. Feeling very good now. Big burp. Super tender. Wheezy, wheezy. Woo. Mostly good. <clears throat> I can tell who's high. Uh, is it Magna? She's like, woo. <clears throat> uh, it's great helping sciatica as well. Yeah, and so, okay, let's, uh, we're at it, guys. Let's do it. Let's do anti grab. Uh, let's do um uh sorry, anti gravity. So what is the spinal decompression? There's four components to this movement. Okay, the first one is we're going to pin the skin in the back of the neck, pull it up, and lock it to the base of the skull. Okay, I'm going to show you first. We're going to look up and breathe. We're going to bring our chin to our chest, and we're going to breathe. And you're going to go side to side, and try to just move the upper cervical. Like the tendency is to go like this, just upper neck. Then we're going to do a ski or squat and we're going to go side to side again and we're going to do a full squat and come back up. I'll guide you through it. If you can't do a full squat, just bend your knees and go forward. So hands together on the back, pulling the fascia up. Okay, looking up in the sky, pulling your belly button in, breathe in. Two, three, through the nose, two, three, chin to chest. Breathe in and hold it with your mouth. Look up to the right and exhale down. Again, to the left, exhale down, breathe in to the right, 
exhale down, breathe in, left, exhale down, breathe in, right, exhale down, breathe in, exhale down. Now, skier squat, knees bent, bum out, breathe in, look up to the right, and down, breathe in, left, and down, breathe in, right, and down, breathe in, left, and down, breathe in, right, and down, breathe in, up and down. Go full squat if you can. And when you're down here, breathe in. Two, three, nose, two, three. Bum up, head down, slowly come up, all the way. Woo. There you go. Move around a little bit. We got Jason getting a little bit of pool action there. Uh, this is my green screen. And there's Jason uh, doing his pool action, maneuvers in the pool. And you'll notice as he stands up, <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing some green screen analysis here. And that it's a live green screen, right? Whew, how are you guys feeling? Feeling good? Uh, hurt my bicep and my elbow, strange. Oh, if it hurt your bicep and your elbow, uh, okay. Okay, hurt your bicep and your elbow. We're on, a, we're on a roll. You guys wanna continue? Looks like you guys wanna continue. So let's take your right arm here, take your left hand. I want you to grab as far up the bicep as you can and turn it outward. Turn your hand inward as far as you can. I want you to pull your, your skin down and pull your shoulder up against it, and then flex your hand back. Move around. Move the shoulder around. Now reach the arm out as far as you can, like this, and breathe and move the hand. There you go. Woof, man. Wow, that made me dizzy. Yeah, my body's been going through some changes here right now. I can feel it. Okay, let's do the other side. Right hand on the left bicep area, turning out, turn the hand all the way inward, pulling it down, pull the skin down, pull the shoulder up against it. So it's pulling and then flex the hand back. Move around. Get a good stretch the best you can. Reach the elbow out. And there's Cynthia. Seated fascial maneuvers. Seated fascial maneuvers. <clears throat> oh, okay, how are you guys feeling now? Put in the comments. What are you guys feeling? What does it feel like? Hey, Debbie Griffiths. Debbie says, hi, Jason. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Debbie. They're all saying hi. Zoe. Uh -huh. Hi, everybody. Kind of high after anti-gravity. Yeah. Nice isn't to it? be with you this morning. Ever be able to, my first live happy camper says, but I have a real squat. I just went all the way down. Yay. There you go. That's a big deal. That's a good deal, Michelle. <laughs> Celebrate. Michelle Camper. She's the fashionista out there discovering all new kinds of ways to describe and work with fascia. Uh, what well, was so strong, lightheaded? Yeah, that was strong, lightheaded and dizzy. Awesome. Feeling so good. High five. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Take me there, Gary. <laughs> uh, what ears are plugged after anti gravity? Oh. Uh, so what happens is when you're moving pressure, there's three zones of pressure, zone one, zone two, and zone three. So we've done everything without doing anything for the ears or the head. Let's do that. Take the left hand, go to the top of the ear, grab the ear. Take the right hand, grab the lobe of the ear, pull it apart so it actually hurts, like a burning sensation. Take your left hand, pull it back, and your right hand forward so you're twisting the ear. 
And then squat and move around and breathe. Really twist it, turn it. Okay, move your head and neck around. And there's Gail, who's always answering your questions. And Gail is talking to Jason. And Gail's always answering your questions in many chats. So when you have an Instagram question, she's uh, taking all the wisdom that we've been collecting over the years and dispersing that out to you guys. So say, hi, Gail, when you ask a question. Take your right hand, put it over, grab the top of the earlobe, or the ear, the bottom of the earlobe, again, Pulling apart, take your right hand back, left hand forward, twist, and then move around. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Move your head and neck around, see how that feels, see if your ear is still plugged. How's that feeling now? That one should, uh, that one actually makes everything brighter. Even for me today, that made it brighter. That means, like I said, my body's been changing a lot over the last couple of days, so I'm getting a little compression. Um, dizzy, dizzy, release anger, please. Okay. I have my noise in my ear for too long. You can write us about, you can send a message to DMs about tinnitus. Uh, plantar fasciitis, uh, that you do the plantar fasciitis, you do the lower reset with the barefoot sprinter routine. Number two, it's on our website, lower mm -hmm. reset, barefoot sprinter routine. Number two, can we do ankles please? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Feeling wonderful. Thank you. My body loosened up. Hey, Cynthia, Zoray said hi. Oh. Whoa. Lots of, lots of comments. Oh my gosh. Hi, Zoray. Should we uh, do water? Do zones in order not necessarily but it's just that if you work with these two zones here and you don't do something with here you're gonna have pressure but if you only work in here and you don't do something down here you're probably gonna have a little bit extra pressure up here by the way so let's uh, let's do antler twist to really help okay right hand on on the temple on the right side facing backwards left hand temple facing forwards squeeze Squeeze, 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 pushing together, then turn, twisting, and grab the, the scalp, and then move on, and do this, and breathe. I like to squat all the way. Yeah. Oh, that feels good. Feels good. Feels good. Anything for skin discoloration around TMJ? Yeah, if you have skin discoloration, um, what you're gonna, that's a sign that you're, especially around here, it could be the stomach or large intestine or the bladder, but most likely large intestine and stomach, uh, means that, 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 uh, that you need to get mineralization and hydration. So you do the upper reset, you do that daily, but it's diatomaceous earth and Irish sea moss. If you can get it, get the 28 day reset bundle off our website because it's got the power crook in there. And what we found is that the skin, in a lot of cases, especially if it's new and it's onset, if it's just brand new, if it's been there for like 30 years, it's gonna take a lot longer to change. But if it's, been, if it's new and it's coming on, usually with a couple of weeks of doing this and taking the minerals and the supplements, the diatomaceous earth, the Irish sea moss, or taking the foundation, uh, sorry, the foundation or the 28 day reset bundle, you can take those and it usually will, will move the color pretty quickly, but you have to do the work. And again, there's no, anything that's, that's giving you a change in like your skin, but it's not moving your skin, is gonna come back somewhere else. Um, so one of the TMJ, like one of the jaw movements is take your three fingers, put it on your jaw, on your right side facing backwards, left side facing forwards, push in and twist. And then look up and breathe. Chin to chest, look down and breathe. Move around. Move all around, right to left. 
You can regrip if you want to. Oh. Wow. I'm getting a I'm getting a really cool. <clears throat> Okay, making me feel as if I just sprinted for a minute. Yeah, thank you, Consciously Healing Laura. Stuck in fight or flight, uh, I'll have allergic reaction to almost all foods with brain fog. Um, it's evolved me, immediately get the 28 day, uh, uh, day bundle of supplements, get into a 28 day reset, but even before then go right now and do the upper reset, do the full upper reset. That should take you out of fight or flight and then um and then uh do the lower reset later tonight repeat that for three days that should help you upper reset in the morning lower reset at night my right eye is lower than my left does it have to no it will rebalance over time when you do the upper resets the lower resets you'll notice that that um, over time your face will become more symmetrical um uh, mine had mine has gradually become more symmetrical and then it gets caught where I'm, where I'm changing and growing, and then it goes unsymmetrical, and then it gets more. It's meant to be constantly in motion. Alopecia. We have a we have a post coming out today on alopecia, and we're going to be talking about alopecia today in uh, ten minutes with Claire Crawley, who's bachelorette number sixteen. Um, we're going to be talking about alopecia, um, and alopecia is an autoimmune condition. Um, what we found is that people that have alopecia. Even, even listen, just plain old, like, like Cynthia, for example, had a graying in her hair. She no longer has the graying in her hair, getting baby hair, hair growing back. My hair has even come back to my, my baby color of blonde from a dirty gray. So, uh, so we have, we have lots of examples of hair growing back, hair regrowth, and this is happening in everybody from all ages. So it's an autoimmune condition and the first thing is to get the minerals, the diatomaceous earth, the Irish sea moss. Um, I would also get the boron in there as well. And you can send us a message for this in particular. But it's the uh, lower reset uh, with the with the release uh, one day and the upper reset the other day. But if you had alopecia, I would recommend I would highly recommend you doing the whole 28 day reset because you need that gut recleanse too. Um, your small intestine there it needs to have it needs to have the flow back. And in the small intestine walls, because of the chemicals and uh, that we've been eating in our diets, and uh, what's happening is the there's a sludge built up on the walls, and then that means that the body's not absorbing properly. And when it doesn't get the nutrients, your hair is your fascia, by the way. Your hair and your nails are is your connective tissue. It's the same thing. And if it's not getting the proper mineralization, it's going to have a problem. <clears throat> Amazing, uh, looks like Colin Briss 7. Hey, Cynthia, nice to meet you at Joshua Tree. Alopecia. Nice to meet you. Uh, on your supplements, and my crotch is itchy a lot. Oh, if your crotch is itchy a lot, go do the lower reset, and then just start, like, like one of the things you guys could do is, is you could do the pretzel squat here, and you can take, take your leg, twist the, twist the skin here, and squat here like this, it's bringing blood flow. The itchy means that you're bringing, like when you have a wound, like a burn, and as it's healing, it starts to itch. That means things are starting to heal, but you just want more flow in that area. Also, if you can get somebody to do the partnered maneuvers with you, that should probably help a lot. But that means, and usually that itchy a lot has to do with the emotions of fear or anger that have been repressed. And things like the psoas release, which is in the lower reset, will help with that. The one we did earlier, like the psoas release, you just Pull your hands on your bladder and do the same thing as the psoas release. And what that does is starts to open it up in there. And I do this. What I do is I grab right here and grab behind right here. And I pull the skin and then I squat and I move around and it stretches right on the pubic bone. You're just trying to restore the flow there. It's looking to get more blood. <clears throat> yeah, you can regrip anytime. Opened up your head. Wow, got dizzy. For specific questions, you know, um, you can DM us, and we also have an automatic uh, a system where you can find different conditions and you get answers to it. But you can DM us specifically, and we'll answer you. For right hands and glutes, okay. So if you have right hands and glutes issues, go do the lower reset, 
and the barefoot sprinter routine number two. It's on our website. I can't believe it. I have to go to the bathroom. Wow. Hey, Dr. April. Okay. Um, the DE has increased my hair density by 20% in the last three to four months. Yes, absolutely. Uh, that's right. Works really good. <clears throat> And I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna close this live off and start a new one in about five minutes. And again, we have Bachelorette number 16. She's been on the bachelor for 10 years talking about her explant surgery, her autoimmune condition, her eczema, alopecia. And we're gonna be talking about different things that are related to that. She has wants she wants to help women. Uh, she's using her platform now to help women with issues that they're having. Fibroids, you can DM us about those. Cynthia gives great hugs. Please help. Feeling very dizzy because of vertigo. Um, okay, if you're feeling dizzy because of vertigo and it's constant, uh, go to the upper reset. Do the upper reset twice a day. If it doesn't go away within three days, you're going to guarantee you're going to need to have yourself diatomaceous earth, Irish sea moss, the minerals. I would encourage you to get the 28-day set of uh, supplements um, with the, with the anti-inflammatory. Bladder release removes my static pain all the time. My lion's mane good. For, uh, is lion mane good for inflammation? Yeah, it is. But if but inflammation, the most powerful for inflammation is to have the proper minerals. Diatomaceous earth, Irish sea moss. That's it. Because we can take inflammation out with with something, uh, even an anti-inflammatory, even like turmeric or curcumin. But even if you're taking power curve, it'll take your inflammation out. But if you haven't fixed the hydration and uh, issue in the body, it's not going to work. What's special about zero degree sign? If you want to know about zero degree and 29 degree, um, two things. Go to Serious Joy. Uh, go to our website under products and partners and go to Serious Joy. Sign up for three ninety nine a month. It'll explain that all to you. And then go back to this week's um, uh, Astro Monday. Uh, it's on our, on our wall and it's on our website too. And watch what Chris says about zero degrees and 29 degrees. He has a whole discussion about it. Okay. Uh, Human design class. Oh, right on. That's awesome. What's the name of the website for Irish sea moss? Uh, survivalmoss.com. It's on our website now. It's on our website. You can go to our, our products and partners. But also, too, if you guys, we have Irish sea moss in our fascial uh, flow foundation. And we have a patented product called Glivia, which regulates your blood sugar <clears throat> and also controls appetite. So you can get that in with our Irish sea moss. So we have our own. So if you want to, you can get whatever, but if you want to support us, that's one way you can help support us. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to turn the live off uh, and we're gonna come back in just a few minutes with Claire Crawley, who's bachelorette number 16. And we're gonna light up then, okay? So see you guys in a few minutes.